we now in the studio have Jana V. Harrison plus one or two uh, people with you on the harmonium and the um, what looks like a double sided drum. To introduce who we've got here. Oh, this is my sister, Tulsi. Hi. And this is Madva Anderson, ex fireman. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he plays the, the double headed Murdanga drum made of clay. Okay, and, and if you have any voyeuristic interest in looking at a couple of Harry Krishnas, have a look at our webcam. <laughs> no relation to George Harrison? Uh, no, well, no. not not by blood, but actually we grew up at a place called Bhaktivedanta Manor, which is just in Hertfordshire, and it was donated by George Harrison in the 70s to the Hare Krishna community. So, yeah, there is a link there, definitely. He's, he's, and people always ask that question. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to have brought it up again. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do a paternity test later. <laughs> So chanting is kind of core to, to, to human behaviour. You know, we, we've done it as men for, for thousands of years. And how, how does it fit into your tradition? Well, it's a, it's a core practice of our tradition. I mean, you know, we do it morning, noon and night. Somebody dies, somebody's born, birthdays. We're chanting all the time. The idea is that the chanting brings you into an inner sacred space, allowing you to connect with your, your, your real self, the eternal soul, and with, dare I say it, with God. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it just allows you to access a place where you can become more loving, more patient, more tolerant. So all the good stuff that you mm. would want to be as a person. But the physiology of chanting, if, if you're not religious, mm -hmm. if, you, if you're not a believer in some higher form, mm -hmm. what, what can chanting actually do to you? How can it connect you to something? Well, I think, I mean, as you were showing with the football chants, we all love to sing together. It's a really energizing thing to sing with other people. Um, it's de-stressing, definitely, and uh, a lot of a lot of people have actually told me that they love coming to chanting sessions because they don't they don't really like socializing so much where you have to just chit chat all the time with people. They feel more bonded and more connected, deeper relationships with people through sessions of chanting, and that's so. That's, don't go on a fair dating site. <laughs> exactly, chant, chant, chant with, a bit. Uh, chant your friend a bit. that will put some spice <laughs> back into your marriage. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you've nailed it there. We're going to... For one of a better expression. Yeah. <laughs> oh I do have to apologise again. Oh, no, no. Uh, Nihal and I, you know, we're, we're, we're men who are open to these sorts of oh, things. Oh, yeah. Great. Uh, what, what, you know, Great. What, what can we chant with you tonight? Well, well, seeing as we're Hare Krishnas, we're definitely going to do the Hare Krishna chant. Oh. How can we do anything else? Oh. And um, <laughs> you may have heard this on Oxford Street. You, you, you don't know any there. Tottenham Hotspur chants, yeah, no? no? You don't know I'm any? Sorry. Uh, Blue Moon? No, nothing <laughs> Some pre-made. Um, We've got some cheat cards. Let's, let's look at the lyrics of that one, then, shall <laughs> we? Yeah. You didn't know because <laughs> you hadn't heard them before. Have you, uh, you haven't got sort of a, a new album coming out with different lyrics on. Yeah, oh, uh, no, a actually, remix actually, album. Actually, yeah, we, we 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 sing a lot of different things, but we usually take a little more time to to get into it. So we thought we'd do something you're a bit familiar with, okay. an old standard. An old so, standard, the Oxford standard. Street medley. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, exactly. so, so sing along at home and, and feel your serotonin levels naturally rise and, you, and your <laughs> desire to have an affair dissipates. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay, Janavi. Jai Shri Krishna
Wunderbar. Beats per minute. Oh, she's loud enough. Maybe one right. to five beats per minute. That's it for Menza this week. Next week we're not here because Brazil are playing England, so we're going to be back in a fortnight.